So as you may or may not know, a few months back I posted a video about what's it like owning a 2016 MacBook Pro. And one of the biggest complaints, and I'm sure many others as well, was the battery life. All oh, that dreadful battery life. Especially when Consumer Reports fell Apple in recommendations. And so they took action. So in January, they finally fixed the issue by releasing a new software update. And I have noticed a increase. So I think it's about time to do a follow-up. So I will present to you a time lapse of my 2016 MacBook Pro from 100 to 0% battery life test. So currently on my MacBook Pro, I have macOS Sierra 10.12.5 beta. And I have my brightness adjusted to the Apple tested 75%. Now I'm going to go to my iTunes library, play the longest movie I have, and make sure my Bluetooth and my Wi-Fi is disabled, all the background applications are disabled, and let's play the longest movie I have in my iTunes library, which happens to be Transformers. And I'll be running this external timer off my phone hooked up to an external battery. So this way it doesn't drain the laptop. Now let's start this bad boy. And I know what you guys are thinking. Why do I have the beta? I do not want to go through the process of uninstalling. Then having going through the hassle to download the current OS. And I don't want to go through the risk of losing personal data. Honestly, if you guys would like me to do a, a comparison test between the stock Mac OS Sierra and the latest. If you, this video gets a thousand likes, I'll go to the Apple Store and buy another MacBook Pro to actually have a better comparison test to the non-beta, which the beta of Mac OS, and I could probably experiment with the very first Mac OS that came out for the 2016 MacBook Pros. But that's if it gets a thousand likes. So roughly, at the 9 hour mark, you'll see it's already at the 3% battery life. Honestly, I was quite amazed that it made it past the 8 hours because I remember before I was lucky enough to even get 6.5 hours out of a single charge. Now, as seeing this, I was kind of wild. I honestly didn't have high hopes for this thing to go past the 8 hours. I mean, I did notice an increase in battery life, but I didn't realize it was going to be able to make it to 9 hours. Plus 9 hours, there you go, correction. But roughly, as everything must come to an end, the MacBook Pro unfortunately made it for at the 9 and 13 minutes. 9 hours and 13 minutes battery life. Not Apple claim 10 hour battery life. This is a real world test. It's not a perfect scenario where everything is right, temperature is correct. But we came pretty damn close to the 10 hours. Not 10 hours, but close. And one quick note I want to say, my idiot self did have Bluetooth on. I also had the auto screen adjustment, so I didn't realize I did this. I couldn't have sworn I turned it off as I was going back and editing. So, you know what? Consider this as a real world test because that's what this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure even if Bluetooth was disabled and brightness was uh, auto adjustment brightness was disabled we will still get the same re very close same result and yeah unfortunately I had the beta Apple didn't release the open public software so I wasn't able to overwrite the beta and I don't want to go through the process of downgrading it's a pain in the butt it's time consuming and I don't really feel like doing it but as always Sorry for that <laughs> inconvenient, but this is still a battery life test. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave that like. I'll go to the back Apple store and get a dummy MacBook Pro just to do a fair comparison test. So subscribe if you're not. Like this video. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.